Hi, my name is Liesl Backstein. Um, just to introduce myself a little bit first, I'm from Rexburg, Idaho. I've grown up here. My parents met at Rex and they liked it, so we've stayed. I am an elementary education major. My emphasis is in social studies. I love history and I love humanities, and so I just thought that would be a fun thing to do. Um, so today my presentation is on Soren Kierkegaard, and he is an advocate for existentialism. So Soren was born on May 5th, 1813 in Copenhagen, Denmark. He is the youngest of seven children, and he studied at the School of Civic Virtue as a youth, and that was one of uh, Copenhagen's finer schools for richer um, or wealthier families, and Soren's dad was pretty wealthy, so they were able to um, have that luxury of being able to go to a better school. He excelled in Latin and history, but he wasn't very good at writing, which I kind of think is cool because we get to see him overcome this trial of writing and he uses it later in his philosophical works and writes some great um, pieces. He attended the University of Copenhagen in 1830. He starts out studying theo uh, theology and then decides that it's not for him and he decides to um, follow after his father and study uh, philosophy and literature. So during his years at the University of Copenhagen, he was engaged, but he never married. He decided that he could never make a girl happy and just told her that and uh, broke off the engagement. He received his doctorate in 1841, which was shortly after his father died, and that really helped give him that um, extra push that he needed to kind of get through that and obtain the rest of his education. Some of his philosophical works that he wrote after were um, Either or, Fear and Trembling, Repetition, Stages on Life's Way, The Sickness Unto Death, and Practicing Christianity. And lots of these talk about um, people being able to make choices and different choices that come into people's lives. And that's a big part of existentialism is having your agency to be able to choose what you want. Um, Soren believed in subjectivity and personal choice over scientific objectivity, and this means that he believed in every person's ability to make their own choices and that um, by each of them making their own choices, they each choice gets their own consequence and that's either its own reward or its own punishment. Some, is, some of his philosophical beliefs may have stemmed from his father. His father was kind of a stern man and he was always lamenting for his sins and he um, one of his superstitions was that because he had cursed the Lord's name in his youth that his whole family would die before him and that actually did happen except for Soren and his brother and so that was I think one of the things that made Soren realize that we have consequences for our actions and that's part of his philosophy of existentialism. Uh, in the classroom, children are free to choose what they learn in existentialism, and they're free to choose how they learn it and how quickly or how slow they want to learn. The teachers are there to advise the children, kind of guide along in the learning process, but they're not the main, they don't teach the curriculum, they don't come up with it, and they're not like a dictator in the classroom. It's really up to the students to do their own learning, and whatever learning they do or don't do is the consequence of what they, of their choices. And um, I just think it's really cool to have existentialism, to let the children learn and choose what they want to learn, because I don't know about you guys, but I have an easier time learning when I'm able to really get into it and kind of pick what I'm getting to learn. But I do think that there needs to be a little bit of kind of just how it says that teachers are there to advise, maybe even a little bit more than that, just to kind of show the kids the right way to learn so that they do have a little bit of a guideline to go along their way and so that there isn't chaos. But I do think it's cool that the children have their own opportunity to govern themselves and take responsibility and action for their own choices. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed learning about Soren, and I certainly did, and I hope we have the chance to apply existentialism, or maybe not if you decide that's not what your pedagogy is. But I think it is a good thing to realize that our students have their own minds and they're capable of being their own beings and governing themselves.